Fizz, why you no cost less? Here's an idea. Henry David Thoreau can raise your kids better than you can. Kids today of varying ages are constantly absorbed in their everyday activities, such as texting, Facebooking, playing puzzles and dragons on their iPhones. Writing history Not essays? Not writing their history essay. In fact, kids in our generation today are often associated with staying indoors instead of getting their daily dose of sunlight. I'm not saying that kids don't play sports anymore. I'm just saying that basketball, tennis, hunting, even roller coaster riding can all be done on digital media. As a parent, you want your kids to learn useful life lessons that they can use to survive in the real world. Okay. Kids today need to learn to be independent. This can't be done if they're constantly on the computer or on their phones. Granted, there are some skills that can be picked up from these activities. But at the end of the day, completing the whole game of Cooking Mama isn't the same as knowing how to cook for yourself. In Walden, Henry David Thoreau said that a child should learn how to hunt and fish at a young age. Through this, he believes that the child will learn the value of hard work and of life itself. Not only will it give the child fundamental survival skills, but it will also teach the child to have a more independent and self-reliant view of life. The child who is spoon-fed all of his necessities won't learn how to obtain them for himself. He also will not learn how to use chopsticks, so he'll have to eat his spaghetti like a Neanderthal with a fork. If the rule was apparent during our generation, do you think he would allow his kids to spend countless hours playing Angry Birds or scrolling down Tumblr? Would he consider these activities beneficial, or would he rather have his kids go camping on the weekends? Or every day for that matter. Perhaps the main concept Thoreau wants to get across may not be the hunting, fire making, or wood cutting, but that you need to learn certain skills and build upon them to become a contributing member of society. One such activity Thoreau might suggest is hunting, which could lead to independence which is an important character trait of a contributing member of society or a young adult. The children of this generation won't suddenly turn into wilderness loving survivalists. They'll probably watch it on TV instead. <laughs> Maybe as the times change we can apply more and more things from a variety of different sources. As long as you're learning something, you can use it to build upon later in life. Come to think of it, guys, Thor wasn't even married. Well, technically he was married to Mother Nature. Oh, <laughs> I guess, yeah.